they're going to pick you up at the, they already said that they're at the U.S. Embassy to drop you off at the U.S. Embassy, that he just got on live and said it, he said he's ready to drop you off at the U.S. Embassy. Well, her dad just picked up. He, he said, he said that he said that she she can go to the embassy. They they're waiting on her. They they know that she's coming to there to arrive to the embassy. Well, her dad just got on. Hey, tell tell her pops to call back in. Tell her pops to call back in, man. Tell the nigga call back in. Talk to her, man. Talk to her. Talk to his daughter. Talk to his daughter. Talk to his call him. Tell him call back and talk to her because she right here. Bro, back up, bro. Don't make me. Oh, come on, man. What is you doing, bro? 
you ain't got to be here. Let's make the let's make the measurements. Let's make the measurements correctly. This is my daughter. I still care about you and my daughter, no matter what your emotions are. We gotta be realistic about this. You keep doing the same dumb shit to me every time. I am, but we gonna do it the right way. You gonna put some clothes on my child. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna just take her out with no clothes. All right, but we gonna get the clothes. You gonna get in the van and we gonna drop you by the U.S. Embassy. I'm not going there. Where you going? Not to the U.S. Embassy. I'm not going. Where you going with my child? You about to take my child from me? Where you going? I'm not gonna take nothing from you. This is my daughter. Now listen, let's be reasonable, yo. You want to leave. You don't want to be with me no more. You mad. You in your feelings right now. Fine, I get it. I get it. This is my daughter. You're going to take my daughter. You're going to take... Listen, listen. I know I can. I know I can. I know I can, but I can. And I will. But listen to what I'm saying to you. But listen to what I'm saying to you in this moment. Listen to what I'm saying to you in this moment. I want you to think about something before you go. This little girl won't have a father in your life because of your emotional decisions. Because of your emotional decisions, she won't even have a chance to have a father in her life. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. If I gotta leave, then so what? Look at me. Look at me. It's that easy, huh? That easy, huh? Just drop me just like that. What about you? What about my daughter? What about her dad? But what about her dad? What about her having a relationship with her father? You gonna take that away from her? You gonna raise her in a split home? Perpetuate the same shit over and over, just like your mama? Or you gonna be like your dad? Keep her away from me. Break the cycle, or you gonna continue this shit? Fuck what you want. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. It's not about you. You have no reason, though. You gonna take my child from me? I you don't want to be in a I didn't ask you that. I did not. I did. I did not. I didn't ask you that. 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 You knew I was polygamous before we got pregnant. Okay. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. Okay. All of a sudden. You knew I was polygamous before we ever conceived and had a baby. I've been polygamous. Let me let me finish. Let me finish though. 
Let me let me get this right, cause I'm gonna let you go. Let me get it right though. Let me get this right. So you knew I was polygamous before this, before we had a baby, right? Now you had my child, right? Who you had child? Who child you had? It's your baby. It's not ours. So you gonna tell me that that's not my child? You telling me that that's that's not my child? That what you telling me? It's not my child. She don't got a father. She only got a mother. Look me in my eyes. Look me in my eyes. Look at me. I don't have a child. That's not my daughter. Whose daughter is it? Or who else? That little girl don't deserve a father. She don't got a father. She don't got a daddy. She don't got nothing. She don't got nothing. She, all she got is me. And that's it. You can make more children, you got more wives. And they all gonna have me as their father. Good. But you saying this little girl right here, I'm not her father? Nope. So she don't get to have a father because you're mad? I'm not mad. I don't want to be with you. And I don't want to be in a polygamous relationship with them. I don't. And I'm not doing it. I'm not forcing myself to do it. I'm not doing it. Yeah, but you upset right now. This is a moment. This is a moment. You're making a life decision for you and that child in one moment. In one moment, you're going to take her from her father. Your father took you away from your mother. You know how that feels. And in one moment, this little girl right here is not going to have a father because you decided you're going to be angry. Sure about that? But you want me? And I'm 
mom and I'm and I'm her father. I'm her father. I'm her father. It's sad that a woman has the rights to take a child away from the father but just because it's. But this is my child right here. No, it is my child. It's sad that you have the right, that the white man give you the right to take my child away from me like this. As other women had before that you've seen, and you said you would never do that to me. Right. I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm, I'm gonna leave you alone. I'm gonna leave you alone. Yeah. You ain't gonna have to worry about me no more. What I'm saying is, yeah. at the end of the day, you, to, you can make more children. But how can I make a? How can I make another Eliana? Can I make another Eliana? Yeah, I can make another Eliana. Everybody in the room saying I'm begging her or I'm manipulating her, but all I'm trying to do is get her to think about something beyond her. This is beyond her. The child life got to come up, and no matter how much she feel about me, that child deserved me in her life. She would. How? You said I'm not her father. How's she going to have me without you? You going to wait just like your mom and dad did? You literally are going through the same thing between your mother and father right now in two different frequencies. And now you telling me that I'm going to have a relationship with my daughter, a healthy one? Or you about to perpetuate the same karma as your parents did to you? I guess you won't see that on you. I don't even know how it's manipulation if I'm talking to her, talking sense. I'm talking sense. I'm talking sense. I just had my baby girl. You seen what we all went through live on in effect. You seen all that I just went through. And I and I'm manipulating trying to talk sense into her mind before she makes a decision out of her emotions because she's young. I'm I'm manipulating her into what? Thinking about the child and his future? Thinking about her and her future? Asking her to think twice before she makes this decision for everybody? That she could, she has, that it's fucked up that she even has the rights to actually leave and take my child and walk the fuck off like I don't even have no rights. So what, you tired? Everybody tired. I'm going to make more children, but this is my daughter. Why? Because this is my daughter. This, this is my daughter. I can't make another her. I'm going to make other children, of course, but this is my daughter. I can't make another Eliana. What that got to do? What the other kids got to do with my daughter? Eliana that I made with you. Look like I can't make another you. I'm trying to understand it. It came out of my body and it, and it came out of her body too. It's 23 of my chromosomes as well. Fear is fear. You gonna take a whole baby that we made together. I nursed, nourished, nursed, took care of you, everything, and you just gonna take our child away, and I got no rights, I can't say shit, you just gonna take my daughter away, and just walk the fuck off. And y'all getting blocked in the room anyway. Y'all getting blocked, say some silly shit, you getting blocked anyway. She being held hostage. Who, my daughter? I'm holding her hostage from what? Hostage for what? And what's the price if I'm holding her hostage? What's the, what am I asking for? Hostage? Fuck out of here. Yeah, y'all getting blocked. All of y'all getting blocked. I'm supposed to just let her walk off in the jungle with like this and just, it's, I'm supposed to just let her walk off. She said, I don't care where I'm going. Now, if something happened to her, it fall back on me. 
I'm supposed to just let her just walk off in the middle of the jungle with my daughter like this, and I'm holding her hostage? Fuck out of here. No one's turning on her. People are just fed up with the with the with the back and forth. Nah, man, you this is your family right here. We telling you the right thing. These niggas online telling they want you to do the wrong thing, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? It's your family right here, nigga. We trying to make you do the right thing. These niggas want you to be fucked up. These people don't care about you. They don't care about themselves. I don't care. That's not the point. I don't need nobody. She gave you thirteen hundred. Fuck is you talking about? Thirteen thousand. You gotta think about the baby, you gotta think about us. You ain't over me. You'll never be over me. Ever. <laughs> Ever. So disrespectful. She said she ain't going to the embassy. She said she not going. To she said well, she not driving with us to the embassy. She about to go. She just about to walk off. She got a passport. She about to walk the fuck off into the middle of nowhere. Like she always do. I'm not letting her do that. Y'all got a problem with that? Fuck you. Good. Say something in the room. You're going to be blocked. It's okay. Y'all stupid, cause y'all getting blocked left. I'm blocking all of y'all bitches. Y'all gonna get the thank you screen. Oh shit, what happened? Look at all the demons coming out. They want you bad too. They want you bad. These demons want you bad. They want these demons want you bad. The devil wants your soul, baby girl. Look at the devil in the room. They want you bad. They thirsty for your blood. They love that blood. They want you bad. They, you, oh, that's what that's what you trying to do? Is you the devil's daughter? Or is you God's daughter? The devil wants you bad. Look at these demons in the room. They love and they coming out like fucking snakes. All these dark entities entering the room. They love it. Look at them. They all in the room. They love it. They couldn't wait for this moment. They've been chanting this. They love it. Love it. They absolutely want to see it. They want to break me in any way they can. They know how much I love you, Eliana. What about they you? They want to see you leave because they know it's gonna hurt me. They know they want you to take my daughter because they know they know it's gonna hurt me. They know it's gonna hurt me. They know as soon as you leave, Eliana, you take another child away from me, knowing that's gonna hurt me. You know it's gonna hurt me. You know it's gonna hurt me. So I did all that for nothing. What the fuck I look like losing investment? So even if I, I have one child, it's gone. I get another child, it's gone. You think that, that feel good? You think I don't love you? They know I love you. They know they can see from miles away how much I love you. They know I love my daughter. They know I'm winning with my daughter. But as soon as you leave, they won. And they think they won, but they ain't win. I told you the devil gonna play on all weaknesses. All weakness. They can't wait. They in the room. Go home, girl. Come on back, baby. Come on back home, baby. Come on back home. And you know it. You sit there and make all those videos. And then when it's time to do the action. You acting like a little girl right now. I do want you. I don't want you to what? Hold on, no, 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 no. What you say? I don't want now. You don't want me to have my own tent. You don't want me to be by myself. You don't want to have your own tent. You don't want to be by your own self. No, you don't. Look at him. Look at the demons in the room. Good. Y'all want it though. Y'all love it. Y'all love to see her like this. You know this, my heart. You want her to motherfucking leave me. Motherfuckers, look at you. You the narcissist. You point to me as a narcissist, but y'all niggas is the narcissist. Y'all want her to leave me, don't you? Y'all want her to take my baby girl away from me, don't you? Look at you, you weak bastards. You all in the room, hoping that I motherfucking fail. You fuck niggas. Fuck you, nigga. You never get me.
All you fucking demons out there, look at you. You praying for a black man down for. You want to see a broken family. You love it, motherfuckers. Y'all love that shit. Demon ass niggas. Fuck out of here. Look at you. Look at you. Praying on it. Calling little Pharaoh. Calling a little fuck nigga. Calling him. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, get him, Pharaoh. Uh. Fucking look at you. Look at you. They love it. Look. Look. They love your weakness. They want to feed off of it. You want my baby? You want, you want what, what, whatever can hurt me. That's all y'all care about. Y'all pray for my downfall 24-7. You sit around today in groups. All of y'all sit around in groups and hope for my downfall. I never do videos on you. I don't even know you. You troll me every day. Hoping for my downfall. That's what you want? You want my downfall, huh? You want to see me fucked up, don't you? You want Eliana, huh? You know Eliana, my heart. You know that. They want it. That's what they praying for. Hmm? Hmm? That's what you want? That's what y'all want, huh? Anything that shows success for me, you want me to fail. That's what they want. 1,500 people in the room. Look. Look at them. Because of negativity. Look at the demons. The demons come around with this negativity. Look at They come around with this negativity. It's 1,500 people in the room. Oh, yeah. Sniffing out every hurt person out there. They don't give a fuck about none of this shit. All y'all care about is breaking up another happy family. A black family. You don't give a fuck about nothing. Your weapons. All of you. AI. Government AI, nigga. You want to see Eliana down and out. She know she ain't got nowhere to go. She ain't got shit. She know that, nigga. Stupid motherfuckers. Uh... Huh? Huh? You want to see me fail, don't you? Ah! Uh, you want to see me fail? Oh, look at these fuck niggas in the room. <laughs> look at y'all. Y'all want to see me fail, don't you? Took Osiris, huh? Like Job in the Bible, you want to take everything from me, huh, devil? You done took everything, huh? Look at these devils. Look at these devils. Devils. You can see them too from a mile away. Look at them. Look at them. You understand what you're doing in the moment? They want to see my baby girl go. Look at it. Like the whole nine, they want to see her back in Babylon. Y'all want her back in Babylon? <laughs> what y'all gonna do with my daughter, man? Huh? What you gonna do with her, man? Your whole, look, they said, look, look, look what they say. Look what they said, man. Look. Look. Look, man. Look what they said. What I say? Look what they said. Look. Velvet, your ticket is paid for. People love you. They love you, baby. Huh? You said what? I don't need nothing from them. They love you, They really you, don't love me. They love you, though. They love you. No, they don't. 
Who love you? Mm-hmm. You love yourself? You love yourself? Protect her from men like me. Nigga, you... Nigga... Protect her from men like me. Whole bunch of hurt people. Somebody hurt you before, dog? Somebody hurt you? Hmm? Police know what I'm doing, what I'm doing. Everything is recorded. What I'm doing. You know what? This whole world, they don't give a fuck about the black man. They don't give a damn about the black man. They don't give a damn about the black man and what he got going on. No one even cared that this little girl gonna get taken from her dad. Nobody even give a fuck. Nobody doing nothing to Eliana. Eliana got it good here and she know it. Ain't got it bad. These are real loved ones right here, nigga. People that truly understand you trying to keep you out of trouble, dog. And you trying to sit here acting like... You should. You should. You want to be in a lower self. That's what you want to do. You don't want to be in an intimate relationship with your higher self, higher self frequencies. You don't want to be in an intimate relationship with your higher self. If that's what you want to call it. If that's what I want to call it. You said something totally different earlier. So it's two sides of it. Where you want me to take you, Eliana? I'm not taking you, I'm not not taking you nowhere. So where you want me to drop you off at? I could drop you off at the U.S. Embassy. I could drop you off at the, I could, I don't even want to drop my little girl off over there. I don't even want to drop my little girl off nowhere. You feel me? But I don't have the rights, right? To say, I don't have the rights to say that I don't want my little girl out there in the middle of nowhere, drop you off there. I, I, I don't have no rights. Nothing. I can't. But you knew it was polygamous when you got in it. You can't. You you don't have to be it. It's not about you. But look, you want to go, so it is what it is. So my thing is this. Let's do it properly so I know my daughter's in good hands. I know she's safe. I know that you're in good hands and you're safe. Let's do it properly. Like, let's just make sure that any, where you going... Just transition safely, you good, we good, and then boom. And let's do it from there. Yeah. But for you to just ask me to drop you off and then let you just walk off into the abyss of Mexico, fuck no, I'm not doing that. I'm not dropping you off in the middle of nowhere with my daughter and you. I love you and I love her no matter what the emotions are. I don't want nothing to happen to you. I want you safe. Your, your Babylon dad said drop you off at the embassy. I could drop you off at the embassy. They need to hear that. I don't fuck with him either. You don't fuck and with him? And neither do I fuck with my grandma. I don't fuck with nobody in Babylon. You don't fuck with none of your Babylon family? Nope. Why not? Because they don't fuck with me. They do. He, had, he said that he, gone, he had the embassy. He, he got you a ticket. I just said I don't fuck with nobody. So you, wait, chill out. So you saying that you're not going to fuck with nobody? No, I'm not. So where am I going to drop you off at? If I get dropped off, I don't want it to be on camera. I don't want to tell nobody what It got to be on camera for my sake. Because if something happened to you, it come back on me. I got to diss my security. It's just not check this. If something happened to you, it's on me. No, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't going to go down like that. I do this so for my security. I'm going to drop you off somewhere safe. And this way I know and everybody else know you were safe when I dropped you off. So if something happened to you, it don't come back on me. I can't do nothing about this. I can't make you stay. I can't make you safe. This is my daughter and everything. I got to be, I got to let you go. So you saying you want to go, fine. Let me drop you off somewhere safe. So I'm good. 
But if I just drop you off and something happen to you, that come back on me. Nobody you know anyway. What you mean nobody you know? Nobody you know anyway. If I drop you off at the U.S. Embassy and I'm live, and they... nobody going to know where I'm at. Right, but that's not my responsibility. That's you. Okay, then. Okay, so if I drop you off at the U.S. Embassy, then and then I leave, and then you walk the fuck off, then that's on you. But I don't want you to do that. But I can't stop you. You your own woman. You don't want to fuck with me no more. I can't just let you just walk the fuck off with, with, with a passport in the hand. My, my daughter like wrapped up around your arm and just up into Mexico like that. Fuck no. That's not happening, man. And where is you going? My daughter Mexican. You got to get her birth certificate. She can't even get into the U.S. without a birth certificate. She's Mexican. My daughter was born in Mexico. Right? She's Mexican. She's not American. They're not letting her in America. So you're staying in Mexico. All I'm saying is this. You want to leave me. I don't want you to go. I want you to get your mind right and run this shit like chief this. I want you to be with, I want to be with my daughter, watch my daughter no, grow up. No, I want you to be chief this. No, I want you to be chief this. I want you to be chief this. Come here. All right. You don't want to be chief this? You don't love me no more? I just want to, I just, only thing is this, like, my life has been online before you got here, and my life gonna be online, this is what I'm doing with my life, I'm vlogging my life, what I'm, I'm tired of you standing, come sit, no, I don't want to sit down, in here, you mad, you mad because they attack you, no, no, I don't want to be with you, Just jealous and be like that. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. Don't talk to me. We gotta get a passport, Peg. We gotta get her passport. She born in, she born in Mexico. You said you ain't fucking with your dad. Okay, you not fucking with your dad. I know why. He ain't nothing but a big ass demon. I get it. I understand why you don't want to fuck with me. You don't want to be in a polygamous relationship no more. All right. I, got, I understand that. Good. So what we going to do then? What we going to do then? Let's think. What we going to do? What we going to do, Nana? We got to think. So... We're not going to be here no more. That's your choice. That's fine. I'm with you. I'm your friend. I'm still your friend. Let's think about what we're going to do now. Right? Let's think about what we're going to do. What we going to do? Fucking. You got anybody you can call? Bree Bree? I'm thinking. What we going to do? Um, you ain't fucking with your dad. You're not gonna go to the U.S. Embassy. I'm not letting you leave the house just walking in the middle of nowhere. Um, not, it's not happening. Um, what we gonna do?
They want to see us fail. Look at them, babe. They want to see me fucked up. They want my woman disrespecting me. They want my life out of control. They want my baby taken away from me. They want my demise. Look at them. She tied this damn camera in her face. They want to roll. I will be too, shit. They don't want me to have my daughter. They don't want to see me happy. They don't want her saying, hey, daddy. They don't want her jumping on my back, playing with me. Because they didn't have their daddy. Hmm? You watched, you watched Maisha take Osiris from me, didn't you, baby? Yeah, I did. Hmm? You watched her take her from me. You felt that pain I felt, didn't you? Yeah. And why would you do that to me? You gotta make yourself happy. You got an opportunity to be happy. You just choose not to. You gotta overcome your shit. Either way, whether you're here or not, you're gonna have to overcome it. I don't gotta be with nobody. You don't gotta be with nobody, but you're gonna have to overcome that shit you're doing. And let's be realistic, you're gonna have to deal with somebody. And then if it ain't, it's just, it, you can't run from yourself. Anywhere you go, there you are. And there's issues that are surface that you have to deal with within yourself. That no matter where you run, you're going to have to eventually deal with them. Yeah, I know that. Right. But you know, you know being here is the best place for you to be to work on them. Your situation grants it. Your situation has made it so difficult for you to leave that it only behooves you to work it out where you at. Yeah. Instead of we're making situations. I don't want to be with no women. I don't want to be. I well, don't it doesn't, be. It's not about you. Right well, now. I'm not happy. I don't. I don't. Stop. Want stop. To be. Stop. Be quiet. I don't ever want to hear you say that shit again. Don't disrespect me. Don't say that shit again. Take your hand off your face. You belong to me. You're my woman. You do what I tell you to do. Because you're my woman. You submit to me. You're mine. That's my baby. That's my daughter. You're my woman. You belong to me. You're mine. Then how come it's so hard for me to listen to you and submit to you? Because you're hard-headed, just like me. You're hmm? No? What do you mean it's hard for you to submit to me? It's hard? I only want to come to this. Because I don't want to do it. You don't want to do what? Be in a polygamous relationship. But you knew I was polygamous like before. But that ain't fair, Eliana. It ain't fair because you knew I was that way before you met me. And you can't be so mean about it. Because if you want to be fair about it, I was polygamous before you met me. And you knew I was. When you came in a relationship with me, you knew I was. It's not fair that you have my baby right now. And that you just take my daughter away from me knowing I was polygamous before you met me. It ain't right. I ain't did nothing to you. I ain't did you nothing. Well, why you gonna just do that and do me like that? Because you don't want to be in a polygamous relationship no more out of the blue. Just out of nowhere, just boom, poof. I don't want to do this no more. Out of nowhere? Out of, just out of nowhere, just going up and just take my daughter out. Just wait till you have a baby and then say that shit. Poof, just, no. But then you said I down there. This was this, I thought this was the story of why me and you never had wives in the first place. What you mean? Because I don't, I'm not polygamous. Okay, you're not polygamous, okay. You decided all of a sudden that you don't want to be polygamous out of nowhere. Okay, that's not what you've been saying this whole time. But now you've decided to say I'm not polygamous. Fine. I, I tried. Okay, you that. tried it. You don't like it. So at your access, you was just trying me. 
And now that you don't like it and you got my child, you can just walk the fuck off with my child? Man, that's fucked up. Because you don't like it. Just because you don't like it. Out of the blue. Out of nowhere. You, you can just take Okay? But that's me. That's who I was. That's who I'm always going to be. What I'm saying is this. Because you don't like it, but that ain't fair, though. It ain't fair. You got to be more mature than just walking off like, that ain't right. Come on, you got to do better than that. That ain't right. I'm not a bully. I, I, I'm not making up being anything. I'm just saying, like, from the beginning of time of when you came to me when I was in Costa Rica, I've always been polygamous. It's just who I am. Well, you, you still are. You got two other wives downstairs. Oh, come on, Eliana. Cut it out. Right, my bad. Right, but from the beginning of the time, you knew that, though. And it's unfair for you to just be in an emotional state and say, I don't want to do this no more because of some challenges that show face. For you to just give up and throw everything that we built away. Just because you don't feel like being in something in a moment of emotions to just throw our lives away, throw the child's life away, and just to make a decision in a moment that will affect the rest of your life and the child's. What kind of space you need, baby? But I want to be under y'all. I don't want okay, to well, I'll leave you alone. I don't want to... You don't want to be up under me. I don't want to be up under you. I've been keeping my space anyway. Yeah. All I'm saying is, if you don't... Look. Look, man. Look, man. Be mature about it, though. If you don't want to be in polygamy no more, let's sit down. Let's talk about it. Let's say, okay, you don't want to be polygamous no more. You don't want to be with me no more. Okay. Now let's sit and talk strategically, calmly, and let's make some grown-up decisions. Let's not just be rational, irrational, and just be like, all right, fuck it, I'm leaving with no shoes. And do no, I would never say that I was leaving without shoes. Okay, so you're going to put some sandals on and just get walked the fuck off in the middle of the woods. That's better? I know you wouldn't just let me walk out of Okay, well, I'm not letting you leave and do that. So why would you say that's what you want to do? Okay, so you don't want to be here anymore. Let's plan it out then. Let's plan it out. For God's sake, you got a daughter. We got to get her birth certificate. You got to get her birth certificate. Right? Yeah. All right. You got to get her birth certificate. Um, that's a process. You got to get you somewhere safe to go. <laughs> Safely. Whether that's a friend or family, wherever you want to go, we got to set that shit up. We got to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you you got your ticket set up. You got everything you need to, to get where you need to go. Okay. And then we got some other thinking about on a spiritual level. You know what I mean? Like on a spiritual tip. You know, it's a survival tip and there's just a spiritual tip. On a spiritual tip, you got to think about what you're doing to the little girl you got in your hands. What are you really doing in the moment of anger, in the moment of emotion? Is what you're doing the best decision for her? Because it's just not about you no more. And if we... Are we going to be just selfish about it? Or are we just going to be self-centered about it? Or are we going to think about what's best for everybody in the situation? We got to calm down a little bit. We got to talk. Emotions arise. Now we got to think, we got to think sensible and make decisions that's going to be reasonable for everybody. I don't even know how to picture life without you, but you're going to make me. 
And I'm like, damn, I never wanted to do that. You wanted that? You want to see life without me? No, I don't. I don't want to see life without you either. That shit crazy. True. I mean, we upset right now, but do you really want to wake up in the morning and I'm not there? For how long do you think can you wake up every day without me there? Without hearing my voice? I, I know it, we upset right now in this moment. And we want to get upset, but when you really sit and calm down and think and meditate about it, I ain't want to think about not seeing you around here. Like, I can't really see that. Like, I can't really picture you not here. Like, my baby gone, you gone, and like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't want to picture that shit. But Eliana, you not being fair to me. You know I was... I was a man when you came to me. You know how I was living. I, I can't change the way I am. I'm me. And I understand it ain't fitting for you no more, but... I love you. And I love my daughter. One child in my life. You know. But I also want you to be happy. But I already know you ain't gonna be happy without me. So we got a dilemma. It's either you leave and be happy without me, or you stay and be. No, you leave and be unhappy without me, right? Or you stay and be unhappy with me. It's like. I kind of feel where you coming from because you like, I don't want to be in a polygamous relationship no more. And you feel like you just want me to yourself. Which was the woman, what, what the crowd was saying that from the beginning, right? They were saying that shit. Like, she ain't, she don't, she ain't polygamous. They were saying that. I wanted to believe that Eliana could overcome the stupid shit that women at Babylon be going through. I wanted to believe that that you can overcome that shit like that. I wanted to believe that the woman that I chose as a reflection of me to be my chief, this to be my wife, could overcome all of the demons that the woman in Babylon deal with when in general. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. But Eliana, come on. Well, you know how I think for you. Can you think for me? Can you think for me? For a minute. Do you really think that I like Aya more than I like you? Supposed to like us equal. Nah, I don't like nobody. I'm not saying it's equal. It can be equal. Y'all two different people. I've been with you way longer. I've been with you two years. We've been rocking. What you mean if somebody could just... I haven't even developed a relationship with that girl like that. I'm, de I'm trying to develop one, but I ain't. But even our bond, do you think our bond is stronger than any other bond here. True or false? Just being real, I'm just trying to, trying to ask you a serious question. Is our bond stronger than any other woman here? Hey, man, don't take too long answering, man. It's a yes or no. Our bond is very strong. It's stronger than everybody here. All right, so if that's the case, then... Why you be trying to act like you could compare yourself to them? Well, me and you done been down. The universe made sure we was together eight months. Six months prior to letting another woman in. We built our bond strong. This foundation is strong. Right? In the universe, let woman come along, right? And show you that I'm never going to turn on you. That I'm never going to put nobody, you know what I mean? On some shit, you know what I mean? Over and over, didn't it? Yeah. To the point where you should be like, it actually eased you into it. If you look at our journey, it kind of like eased you into it. It showed you all the signs and everything, right? Because it was like other women that came along that wasn't our wife to try to come between us and they couldn't get between us. You know what I mean? We done been through this shit together, so it's like 
the universe already showed us, like, yeah, you're going to be all right. You know what I mean? And then that built a lot of trust to let you know that I'm never going to, like, you know what I mean? Ain't no other woman going to come along and take me from you or type shit. You know what I'm saying? But I, don't like, I know I don't that like fear is there. I don't like sharing what I have with, with you with nobody else. Yeah, but I don't like. Yeah, but that's something that you. Kiss me, kiss them like you touch me and you kiss me. Yeah, but this is something that you just putting on me, Ariana. This ain't right. This ain't fear. Come on, baby, you gotta think about me for a minute. What I, I know you being honest now. All of a sudden, but that ain't right. That ain't right, Ariana. Come on, that ain't right, man. You can't do me like that. That ain't right. You knew who I was. Like you was telling me it's all cool and everything, but now you just saying out of nowhere, like, you know what I mean? And I know there was jealousy issues. We talked about those, right? We talked about the jealousy issues. I don't know why I can't get over it. It just keeps coming up. No matter how hard I try to not be jealous, it just always comes up. I don't like when you have sex with them because your aura get different, and I don't like it, and I'm repulsed. I think, that, I think that that's part of it. I think the repulsion is coming from the idea that you won't bond with the other woman. Because you won't bond with the other woman, the repulsion is there because you're refusing it. And I think it comes from your dad, your relationship with your father, if you really look at it. And it's funny because he's in the background of our shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it's like, who's calling for you? Who's coming to get you? You know what I mean? If you literally look at the subconscious fucking message in it all, you understand what I'm saying to you? It's like, who's in the background? Your Babylon dad. But when you talk about the relationship between your Babylon dad, he neglected you. He's the reason why you got secure insecurity problems. If you really look at it. And 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 I ain't never did nothing to you to give you no insecurity problems. I've been straight honest with you. But you still have those insecurities and you got to look at them for what they are and ask where did they come from because they don't got nothing to do with me. I've been straight real with you. You got to say, why am I insecure like this? But then you look at your mama. Look at the issue that you and your daddy, your daddy had with your mama. What was, what was it? Cheating. I may have uterine fun.